Hey Scrappers, Tom here from iScrap, and we had a question on what nickel scrap is, and I'm not talking about those five cent pieces, but we talk about nickel in stainless steel, but today I want to show you what nickel is and how it could be confusing when compared to other types of metals. Now in front of me I have a bunch of nickel buttons. Now where these nickel buttons come from, they could be machine shops, they could be companies that are making things, this could be a byproduct, and here's something that's really interesting about nickel. I'm going to take this analyzer and I'm going to analyze this to show you what it looks like and it comes up as 99.92% nickel. Now nickel 200 is a metal, right? Nickel 200. And what's really interesting about nickel is this. When you take a magnet, watch what happens. It picks the nickel up because it has a magnetic draw without having any iron in it. Why is that important? You don't want to throw nickel in with your steel because you'll never make a lot of money. Now nickel is a very hard alloy. You can see it. It's very hard when you kind of hit it against itself. You can hear that high-pitched scream, and that just shows you how hard this nickel is. Now, this is not something that you're going to find often. Nickel is generally used in high-temperature industries like aviation and aerospace. But what's really interesting about nickel is how it can be used and then put into other products. And I want to give you an example of where you could find nickel inside of, but not pure nickel every day. Now, this is a flex hose that could be used in different types of connections. Let's use the analyzer and let's look what happens when it pops up. Comes as up as 304 stainless and what you can see here is 8.2% of this is nickel. Now these buttons had 99% nickel, but they take nickel, they blend it with these other metals. Fe stands for iron, Cr stands for chromium, and then you have traces of other metals that are inside. But by taking these different metals and creating an alloy like stainless steel, what it does is it creates a really hard metal that doesn't rust, that really holds up well in multiple environments, whether it's cold, hot, in or outdoors. And when you compare it to nickel, remember with nickel when you use the magnet it sticks. Right? You could shake it off because it's not as strong of a magnetic pull as, say, this table might be. But watch what happens. Zero stick. And I'll go real slow here. No magnetic pull either. And it's really interesting because you're very rarely going to find pure nickel as a scrapper. But if you start to get into industrial counts and they talk about pure nickel, now you know things like nickel could stick to a magnet. And that gives you a really good indicator of what nickel may be. And this is just a specific nickel button that we had on hand. But it could come in different forms of bar stock. It could come as flat stock. It could almost look like a sheet of plywood that's really, really thin. It comes in all different forms. So when you're looking to make more money on your scrap, knowing what to look for, like a video like this, where, oh my gosh, I found steel. No, you didn't. You found a really valuable metal that just sticks to a magnet and it bucks the trend of a non-ferrous versus a ferrous metal because while this sticks to a magnet I would still consider this a non-ferrous metal because the value of nickel could be three, five, ten dollars depending on where the market is trading. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.